Alright guys, it's your boy DeAnthony from Break Room Blitz. Thanks for watching. So, so I started this new series um, doing reviews on TV shows that I watch individually. And one of the shows I've been watching faithfully for a while now is Blackish. So, when it first came out uh, last year, there was some, you know, uh, backlash about it because it's called Black-ish, as if they're not all the way black. But if you actually watch the show, it is black people doing positive things still trying to be connected with their roots as far as like how they were raised how they grew up or where they grew up you know and not trying to be so whitewashed so they're like we're black yeah. and as a nerd i completely understand that you know i grew up in los angeles i grew up in kind of like south los angeles so it wasn't the best of neighborhoods and you know now i'm a a tech and you know, i work in the corporate world and i'm dealing with different people all the time so you kind of can't be hard and hood all the time you know what i'm saying so i get the show the show works for me it's kind of like a modern day uh cosby to me, and if you like the Cosby Show, then you definitely gonna like this show. You just gotta get past that title of it. Maybe they shouldn't have called it that, but I definitely get it. You know, the first episode that they had was about how they wanted to be connected with their black roots, and and the kids didn't want to. The the parents did. So Anthony Anderson plays Dre. Tracy Ellis Ross plays Rainbow. And this is actually a true story. This is a, a story of a real person. So, and I didn't even know that till this, this season. Um, but I really like to show my black history is very important to me and trying to teach that without being militant to my son is a challenge. So, I, to me, I like the show. I understood why it's called Blackish. So, anyway, that's just my uh, background of the show that I like it. I just haven't done any episodes as far as reviewing it. So this is my first review of Blackish. So I just watched episode episode eight because <laughs> I just watch them. I don't. I I never thought I was even going to do a review, so I didn't see what the episode was. But the episode is called Being Bo Ratio, uh, and it's a play on words of uh, her name is Rainbow. And she is a biracial black person. And she is upset that her son, the goofiest, cheesiest, corniest, geekiest guy ever, brought home a white girl. And she's like, excuse me? And so, uh, Anthony Anderson, or Dre, Anthony Anderson was like, are you upset that he brought home a white girl? Because I, I hope so. This is going to make my day. Because he likes to talk crap all the time. And his wife is more like, oh, don't say that. Oh, it's okay. Because she comes from more of a hippie background. His Her her dad in the show is a white man. And her mom is black. And kind of live off the grid or whatnot. So it's all about peace and harmony and things like that. So for, so for her to be upset that her son, again, which is the corniest guy ever... Brought home a white girl. She's a little upset about that. And that is what happens in the black community. That's not something that is, you know, fictional. This happens. Like, I'm pretty sure my mama don't want me to bring home a white girl. I, I, I understand it because it is a insult to her. And, and like in the show, Rainbow is like, but I'm black. You know, I thought he was going to be with a black girl. And though this might seem biased... These are things that happen, and this is this is why I appreciate this show, because it's a real live show. They talk about real life issues that black people might not talk about in open, but this is what happens. I've never done it, but if I was to bring home a white girl, there, it would be some looks. They wouldn't be rude, they wouldn't be mean to her, they wouldn't be, um, like, throw any racial slurs, there wouldn't be any fighting or, or anything like that, but my mom would probably be like, uh, what's going on here? So... I get it and so then they go into why she's so upset and because she has a white side you would think she wouldn't so she explains as a kid she didn't fit anywhere she didn't fit with the white kids she didn't fit with black kids and she didn't want her son to have grandchildren who went through that because that's a real thing if you ever look up the documentary uh, by Oprah Winfrey, uh, light skin. 
Um, there's some other documentaries on it too. I can't think of them, but it talks about those things, those uh, issues that biracial kids go through, which is why I didn't want to do that with my son. I want him just like, nope, you're black. That's the end of it. You know, but when you're biracial like that, it's hard to kind of balance like, well, what side do I gravitate to? Because I don't feel like I belong anywhere. You know, so and she was going through that. And those are real issues that biracial kids have growing up. Like kids are, uh, they're jacked up, yo. Kids will talk about you. Oh, you think your hair pretty? Oh, you think you cool because you got light skin? Like, <clears throat> especially with women, they are are brutal you know what i'm saying and as a kid you just want to grow up and you just want to get along you know so those are the issues that she dealt with and with that's why she was a little upset because now that she's actually identified as a black person my son brings home a white woman so i get it i definitely like the show i thought it was cool um so then dre goes to work as he always does and he has these powwows with the white people, because he works in corporate America, so that's all that's there. They're going back and forth about how to deal with white women, and Dre is like, I don't really know how to deal with them, you know, I get all, you know, I get cold feet whenever they come into the room, you know, and honestly, I didn't grow up around that either, so sometimes I get like that too, because I don't want to seem like I'm undressing you in my eyes, and I don't want to seem too aggressive, because racial relationships between black men and white women are kind of tense, you know, so you really don't know how to act. So I, I kind of connected with that. Cole is like, he has all these names for how he is, you know, the best black man to pick up white chicks or the best black man to, you know, be around a white woman, you know, he'd pick them up like that or something like that. So it was really funny because uh, he probably does. He seems like that type of guy. That power they were having about talking to, to white women was just kind of funny to me. Uh, I like how they went over the historical facts about it. They went over the historical facts about interracial relationships, you know, in American history. How you can go to, you would have to go to jail. The black was with a white, you would go to jail. Um, they talked about, you know, the statistics of how many people inter intermixed once that law was abolished. They talked about a lot of stuff. It was a great episode as far as, like, historical facts of why this is such an issue. And then at the end... She kind of just, Rainbow just kind of like realizes that she has to accept who she is and for what she brings to the table and she shouldn't really be tripping about his, or her son, bringing home a white woman. I thought it was cool. And just a little side note, is anyone else weirded out by how Ruby is sexual harassing Rainbow's brother? I mean, that just kind of came out of nowhere. She's like, oh, I dropped a pencil. You better pick it up. I'm like, Ruby, what is happening right now? Where does this even come from? Like, I just thought that was kind of weird. Just let me know. You guys let me know. Does she have a right to feel that way? Should she, should she want her kids to bring home other black people? You know, should they stay within that, that, that racial group? You guys let me know. I know there's going to be probably a thousand different answers. Um, I was going to say yes, but to each its own, do your thing. But I would say yes. She does have a right, and I do get it, so... So that's my review of Blackish episode 8. I loved it a lot. So I'm going to be doing these weekly as well. So look out for that. Also, also check out our other videos at one of these links here. I don't know which side I'm going to put it on, but uh, whichever one fits best, I guess. <laughs> uh, check out our other stuff. We do movie reviews every week as well. So um, just check those out. And also we're doing that giveaway. We're doing a giveaway for uh, Rogue One Funko Pop. We're giving away uh, gin. So if you're interested in that, we're doing that at the end of the month. Um, so look out for our best Star Wars video. And once you guys comment on that, uh, we'll be announcing who won the giveaway on our Rogue One movie review. So, alright guys, I'm DeAnthony. Thank you for watching, and I'm out. Peace.